Hello, my name is Tatiana and this is a Makers HQ. Okay, so today we're doing a video that's a little bit different. I and Angel like are artists and so a lot of the times that we use uh, images, they're our own for the sublimation videos. I use my drawings and we use Angel's pictures. But if you're not a creative, it doesn't mean that you can't have graphics and not make any sublimations. There's a lot of websites out that, you know, have a lot of really beautiful work. And so today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you four, actually five websites where you can get some work for free in order to be able to have graphics, illustrations, photos for sublimation projects. OK, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first website that we're going to is Freepick. I really like this website because I, not only do I use it often, but you can get three downloads if you don't sign up for a free account. You can get up to 10 downloads a day if you do. It has vectors, photos, AI images, icons, the whole nine. It's very good. And I usually use um, a lot of their, of their vectors. And so for instance, let's say I was, I was searching for stickers. And it would give me a bunch of stickers. And what I really like with them is that they're very cool. They're very chill. Of course, if you don't, if you're not signed up for a premium account, you're always going to get ads. But, you know, that's a, a side effect of these websites. But they also have um, premium. If you were to sign up for a premium account, they also have premium stickers. So everything that you search for, it gives you the option to have free or premium as you can go on the side and, you know, like look for specific things that you're looking for. It's a very good website. So let's say I do free. Everything here would be free and I have up to 10 that downloads per day that I can have. So I really like this website. Like I said, I've used it. I've used some of um, the pieces or some of the graphics for some of the uh, projects that we've done. And I just find it very easy to use. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to get this, I would click on it and then just press download. There is an average uh, attribution required in FreePick. So what you do is you basically download it. And then if you were to use it on a design, just use, uh, say, like, you know, on FreePick or then the person's name it usually tells you what to do um, once you do it. But once you do the attribution, then, you know, you're free to use the information or the asset as you wish. Every single website I'm going to show you, it's important that you look at what the license is, what it is that you can put it on, how you can use the pieces, because you don't want to go back and, you know, your your piece blows up or whatever it is and then you're like oh my god i didn't know no everything has information about the license so the next website is let's see um i'm gonna go to raw pixels glass pixabay which is a website that unhead really likes to use let me put it here in the front and why he likes Pixabay is because it's very similar to FreePick, that it has photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, music. He also likes it because he uses it not only for, um, for sublimation now, but he's been using it for many years. And now it also has music. So sometimes we'll download some music for our YouTube videos, for instance. But it has the same concept. You can go on with an account. I believe you can have as many assets as you want. Um, and let's say that you wanted to get, look at this pattern print flowers. Here's all the information, the download, the license, um, the information of the person on the side is here. So basically you would say, okay, this is who made the, the, the pattern, for instance, in this case, excuse me. And um, if you click on their name, it would take you to more of their designs. So that's always interesting. And then for the content license, if you were to download, you have different sizes that you can download. And what I like about uh, Pixabay is that there's no attribution required, but you do again have to read the content license to make sure that how you're going to use it is how you're allowed to use it. So it has a lot of photography. 
Um, it's just really, and it's a good website as well. It's very solid. It has a lot of different things that you can download. And if you do not have any skills or if you want to take an image, for instance, let's say you downloaded this image of the leaves, you could take it and maybe bring it to something like Canva and make it a little bit more yours, maybe change the colors. And so you wouldn't just have what you find here, but you would have something that was more of your design as well. Right. And that's what I think is a good thing about these websites because they are a good starting point for you to be able to get like make your own designs in a way as i said Uncle and i are artists so a lot of times when we go there we either just take a part of it or completely change the colors or like move things around or you know incorporate with it within our own designs um but you don't have to do all that but if you are if you do have some type of skills with photoshop or with some photo editing uh software then it's it's just awesome because you don't have to start anything from scratch. You can actually have something that you work from. Okay, so the next website, let me see. Um, okay, so Vecteezy is not my favorite website at all, but I put it on the list because it again has free vectors, free photos, videos, and um, since we're talking about here, here specifically about um, sublimation, then um, I mean, like I said, it's not my favorite. Let me see. Let me go to people. It's not my favorite website, but it's a solid website to find work in. It might be more your style. And so if you were to go here, for instance, and say, okay, I don't know, I want to put, um, this gang of people on something. Let's see. So, oh, in this case, it's a pro download. So I'm talking about free, but this is super cute. So I would, I would actually visit the pro. I would actually visit to see how it costs, how much it costs for the pricing, because um, I actually like that one. Uh, so yes, that's what I forgot. For Victizi, when it's a free download, it actually has to say free on it otherwise it will not say anything and so if you click on this image for instance it's a pro download but if not then it will have a tiny tag in white on the corner and it, it will say free so make easy is one of them not my favorite but you know it is on the list um now we're going to pexels which i adore as a website however pexels is photos and videos it's not um, graphics it's not vectors it's photos and videos specifically why i really like pexels first of all i find the photography really beautiful on it and so it's a very good inspiration for me to go through sometimes and maybe if i have an idea like for instance something to start from like maybe take mountains and then remove the sky and maybe do something with it that's the type of thing that i would do more collage work um, but apart from that, like taking maybe a section of it and that would become the design. So I don't recommend because it's a photo. I don't recommend that you go to Pexels and just take whatever is there and make it and put it on a t-shirt or put it on a sweater or put it, you know, like this is cute. I love you, but don't touch my pizza. Maybe you could incorporate that. Let's say you have something else and then you put it maybe like on the back of, I don't know, a pizza, a set of pizza plates, you know? So, um, you, I don't recommend that you just go in because at the end of the day, it's people's work. Right. Um, and I know that it's used, it's for free, but this is just my own personal opinion. Um, it's still somebody else's work. So unless you want to go in and take all their pictures and make it into your own, that wouldn't be something that I would find would serve you. But if you wanted to, for instance, take a portion of the picture and make it into something, maybe you don't have the uh, photography skills to be able to go out and get something and take the pictures that you want, but maybe you want to put like a lighthouse on something, or maybe you want to put the word casino on something, you know? Um, I think that that could be an interesting place for you to start. Maybe here, if you want to do like a Christmas scene, maybe just take, do a portrait or cut out the portrait of, of like right here at this point. Um, things like that is what I like Pexels for, but it's a stunning website. It's also a stunning website just for inspiration. Um, but not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have uh, illustrations, assets, vectors, or anything like that, other than photography and video. Okay. 
And then finally, uh, Raw Pixel is a website that I started using recently and I like it for a couple of reasons. First, um, because the photography is very solid here. So a lot of times, you know, you'll find things that are super interesting. It also has a section about art and all the famous art that is now um, up for public domain for creative, open for creative commons, meaning that these artists have passed a long time ago and their work is open to be used and printed onto uh, different things, different items. That's how I had never understood why sometimes you could see famous artists' work on like random umbrellas and it's because you can go and use the people's work that is from a long time ago and use it on modern things right so that always excites me but to me personally it's always the same thing because i'm not gonna go and create a line only of like van gogh paintings that's kind of weird but sometimes i want to switch it up or i want to like use um a portion of it or maybe you know you could say you wrote a word like art and then in the word art you would have um, Van Gogh's paintings in it or something like that. I mean, you, you can get very creative when you have access to a lot of different work. And that's something that I think is very cool. I think for this website, you have to have an account. I only have a, fr a free account and I'm still able to extensively use this website. It is very worth it. It's actually, you know, I said that, um, which one did I say? Free pick was my favorite which it is for more modern work for, you know, cuter, cooler things. But whenever I want inspiration, I do go to raw pixel and I use it a lot. I've, I, I just really find it's a good website if you like this kind of look. And then the cool thing about it, they also have a free section that you can browse, um, like, and use the work, you know, to do different things with. They have like this, this could make a really cool t-shirt, you know, um, I see I've downloaded it already. And it, this one is public domain. It, the nice thing about um, this website is that it has different information for the licenses, but you do have to make sure that you read the licenses because um, each picture is different. Like for instance, you could have something that could be used on products. It could be used on anywhere that you can, but then you also have things that you have to kind of like uh, remix or, you know, ad ad adapt to your own work. You can't use the whole picture. And not only do they have different sizes that you can download, but they also have TIFF pictures or TIFF file formats. So if you don't want the JPEGs that compress so much, you can get the TIFF and it has a higher quality. So these are all very interesting things about um, Raw Pixel. I sound like I, um, you know, this is an ad for Raw Pixel and it's not, we're not being sponsored by any of these websites. This is just my personal um, website choice. Like I said, I like free pick. If I had to choose in order of which websites to use, I would probably do free pick slash raw pixel. So like those are one and two or like even for me, I would use Pixabay, then Pexels probably, even though it's a gorgeous website, I would use it like mostly for pictures or inspo. And personally, I would use VecDZ last if I couldn't do anything just because I don't really like the quality of the work that is on there. And also because I find it more like older, especially since nowadays things are looking so beautiful, right? So I, it's not my favorite, but I did add it because maybe that's your, your type of thing. Um, the pros and cons of using these types of websites, the, I'll go with the cons first. The cons is that somebody else could have your design especially if you don't do something to it like if you don't um you know you know uh, just use a part or if you just use as it use it as it is it's free for everyone around the world to use and so somebody else could have something that you have now if you change it up if you just use a portion if you do a collage if you you know make it black and white like if you just change it up of course, then it already becomes more yours. So that's what I recommend most for you to change it up as much as possible. The pro is that 
if you do change it up or if you think about what you want to do before you do it, um, then you're able to have access to things that already exist and it's a starting point for you to, you know, begin from. You don't have to go and like start a collection or like so many pieces or an idea from scratch. You can have something that you say, okay, you know what, I like this and I can go with kind of this and play with like maybe two styles or play with like a few files and then take those files and then make products from them. And you wouldn't have to go and think so much from scratch or you could have already your own pieces but maybe you need something to add to it like let's say you're doing i don't know uh girls and they have i don't know i'm not gonna say girls but maybe something that has hearts on it so you do have hearts but maybe you'd like to add mugs with hearts and so you could go on one of the websites and be like okay i have these hearts but maybe like add more or hearts or different hearts or blue hearts or so this would be something that's very cool to do i really recommend um that when you start on the websites that you don't go which is what i do but don't do what i do is you don't go blind like with no idea just you feel like browsing and you're like oh let me see what's new no because you're going to be downloading so many things and then you're not going to use those things and they're going to stay on your drive, on your computer, whatever it is. And you're going to be like, what the heck? So I recommend that before you go, you have an idea of what it is that you're trying to do so that you're able to just go in and at least with an idea, you, yeah, you might get down the rabbit hole because they're so cool. But at least let's say you're looking for, I don't know, graphics for kids or I would even go further than that. I wouldn't go graphic for kids. I would go like, I don't know, um, baseball graphics for kids. Okay. I don't even know why I said that, but randomly baseball graphics for kids. So you would go and you would look at baseball things and then, you know, kind of look for the style that you like and then stay with that style because it's going to recommend things that are similar as you go through it. Right. So that's the thing that I would do to get started in order to get those graphics. Um, I'm not gonna talk about AI images today. There is a possibility of you going to get AI images and I think we're gonna do a, a full video on that in another time. That's another idea, but you do have to put prompts and you also have to see that you can use those images in order to sell. So that's an, another completely different topic, but um, Angel and I have been talking about doing a video on that and so at a later time. And I think that that's it. I just would like to say, if you do end up using these types of images, have fun. You know, it shouldn't be so serious. We're making cool things and sublimation is fun. And so just have fun choosing images that you like and have fun creating products that you like. And that's it, okay? So if you like this video and if this video brought you any value at all, please uh, like it, leave us a comment if you have any websites that you go to and please consider subscribing, all right? So hopefully this was helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.